Five o'clock, we'll call the meeting to order. I need approval of the minutes. Darwin made a motion to approve. Geraldine second. All four say aye. Aye. Motion passes. Uh, financial report. Okay, in the operating we have $629,708.37. The payroll account has $110,933.07 for the payroll tomorrow. And the CD is still at $2,159,147.73. Does anybody have any questions on that? Uh, I need a motion to accept the financial report. Randall made a motion. Darwin second. All four say aye. Any opposed? Motion passes. Uh, administrator's report. Well, I'm proud to say that we got up to 74 residents last week. Yay! Yay! Well, I'm glad to see the 69. Well, we're, we're, we're back to 69 today. Two, let's see, one discharge and three admissions today. So we've been very busy last month. Very busy. So Most of them, are they uh, your rehab patients? Most of them are. We have had a few, though, that... Uh, decided to stay long term. Right. So we've been able to move a couple over to the cottage oh. and then a couple back on to wing three and so that's the building. That's good. That's good. Yeah, that, that number looks a lot better than others. We're good. working on trying to get a CNA class started. I've seen that like, hopefully by the end of the month or first of <coughs> November. Yeah. Um, want to hire a couple more nurses. Um, so yeah. Uh, and I know that Last meeting, uh, it was decided to put the supplemental pay on hold, and I, that would be my recommendation again. You know, we're not we're not seeing COVID right now. Thank goodness. Uh, are you still wearing masks? We are still wearing masks. Now, some things are changing. Our testing requirements has changed. Yes. Thank goodness. So now, if you have symptoms. Or if you've had a high risk exposure, our staff have to test. But other than that, they don't have to. They don't. Well, thank God. No. Thank and God. Now we're, we still monitor the residents each shift for any signs or symptoms. And if they have them, of course, we test. Right. Um, this week, I just learned that our screening process, we're able to change that as well. So we'll still be wearing the mask. The face shield is off right now. Um, still be wearing the mask. But we don't have to do the screening. But we're going to have to talk to the families and get them all, you know, to understand that we can kind of go back to some normalcy of, you know, just come on in and visit. Just wear your mask. But these are the three criteria. If you if you're positive for COVID, don't come. Of course. Um, if you have symptoms of COVID, don't come. And um, if you've had a high risk exposure, just please wait. You know, postpone your visit. So, right. This weekend, we're going to work on uh, educating them, you know, because everybody's so used to coming to that main lobby and screening, and, and they'll be happy. They won't have to, have but we've just got to, you know. So they can come in the other door as well? They so will be. Well, yes, yes. We would still like for everybody to come in the main front the main door front or the, the main building, but they can go straight to the cottages. Right. And we're going to start that on Monday, Monday. So we'll have some time to educate all of our staff and and, and I make a motion to leave it on hold with the administrator's recommendation to do it. Also, okay. Randall made a motion to leave it on hold. And Robbie second. All four say aye. Aye. Yeah. Any opposed? Motion passes. Is there enough nurses? People up there that, you know, I, hope, I don't know. I don't know. Do you have anybody coming to the uh, starting the class? We've had, we've had a few applicants. A few. We've had people calling this week. You know, we're just encouraging them to 
get in here and get your application in and so we can get all the background checks and all those things done, you know, prior. prior. Yeah. I had another uh, uh, mother ask me, her daughter 16, do you still, uh, you still hire and stuff? Yeah, but they have to go class now. We can't do the temporary okay. stuff anymore. Not the temporary, okay. So, if, you know, if they're in school, that poses a problem. Uh, uh, they can't do anything else? Well, I mean, yeah, I mean, I'm open for uh, patient care partners, you know, where they come in, pass the eyes, make beds. That's what, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Things. Yes. Okay. But it, it would need to be during our peak hours, you know what I mean? Right, right. You know, right. You know during supper, help pass trains, maybe. Those kinds of things. Yeah. Yeah. Anything at the home? Anything that changes or anything? No, no. No inspections or anything? Not yet. We are in that window, though. I mean, I expect on any day. I haven't heard from around different nursing homes. I'm not, not, just not, recent, not recent. Not yeah. recent. Um, but I do know the average number of deficiencies has increased during the draft. They are well, they're coming back with deficiencies. Deficiencies. Oh, deficiencies. Try, yeah, they learned to find stuff wrong. Yeah. And, <laughs> uh, yeah. <coughs> Which is scary. And I, I, in some instances, they're going back all the way to 2020. Right. 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 We right. talked one time before, just me and you, and, and, uh, about uh, the deficiency going up. You remember us talking yes, about that? They, they, we have been very blessed to have several, you know, low number of deficiencies, which is like a, they go on the ABC level. Right, right. And so the last few, we've had zero deficiencies, yes. which has been great. Um, but they're, they're increasing their intensity of, uh, D is a good level. Okay, that you just have to do a plan of correction, and then they don't even come back to the follow-up. You send in the plan of correction, they, they agree with it, and it's over. If, if they find something where there's potential for harm, and this is the crazy part about this, I don't think you might understand this. I, it just always baffled me that no harm has to occur, but if anything they find that could potentially be harm, they're they're writing you for that, and they'll find you for it. The fines are no no right. Even though no harm. Yes, and and they're really hitting on infection control. Yeah. So, um, one thing I know is if we get an infection control deficiency, and it could be something as simple as somebody failed to wash their hands in between changing gloves, or you know, touch something and failed to wash their hands, we get that deficiency. They come back. The next time we get another infection control deficiency, and it doesn't even have to be the same thing, there'll be a penalty attached to that. Mm -hmm. It's difficult. Sure. It's difficult. Um, as many times as you have to wash your hands during the day, you know, and change your clothes and do all those things. And even like, it, it's just silly stuff, like in the dining room, for example. Mm -hmm. You know, you, we have to take everything off the tray, set it on the on the table for the residents, which is good. You want to make a good, nice dining experience. Sure. But we put plate warmers on our trays to keep our food hot. Our plate goes in a plate warmer. They don't. They want the plate out of the plate warmer. So then, there, therefore, okay, it's hard to get it out because you know it fits right down in it. Yeah. If you touch the food, well, you've just contaminated that plate. You know, it's just. Right. A right. little kiddly, icky stuff, you know, and we're seeing a lot of that. We get reports from our association that, you know, gives the deficiencies that they got for nursing homes. And maybe somebody didn't pour the meal out of the carton into a glass. You know, I mean, yeah, is that, it's that pig monotonous. <laughs> yes. We're just, we just hope they drink the meal. Okay, we want them to drink the meal. And yes, we want it to be really nice for them, as nice as we can. Right. But if somebody forgets to put the meal in a glass, just tell them, hey, put the meal in a glass. You 
Yeah. <laughs> it's just, there's a lot of regulation. Oh, yeah. Lot. So okay. don't be shocked if we get some deficiencies this year. That's what I'm saying. It just, they're coming with a vengeance. Yeah. And it's sad because nursing homes have really struggled. Right. And done the best they could. And yes, nobody's perfect. And yes, they want to fix things. But we should be able to work together and to fix things. And it shouldn't be so punitive. You know. And they say they're not, but they are. Right. Well, that takes all the workers' names. Oh, it does. Wait, it just feels like we're in a no-win situation. You know, when you're there every day, you do the best you can. And somebody finds some little nitpicky. Little nitpicky, which I hope it's nitpicky, you know, but there's so much of it you can't remember. You, know? you just can't. That's what Charlie was talking about today. There's just so much. It's hard to remember it all. Brain only absorbs. It so. does. It does. It does. That's why I keep telling them we're doing the best we can. We're just doing the best we can. We're doing the best we can. They write us up, we'll fix it, and we'll move on. That's all that we're going to do. Yeah. But we're expecting them any time. Yeah. 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 From the, from the Department of Health. And oh. hope the feds don't come in with them. Because they're doing some follow ups behind the state. Do you think because you've had high scores in the past, they're paying more attention to you? No, I think they pay less attention. Oh. And that's good. That's good. Because some facilities, I mean, we're, we're, we're close to our three-year mark next month. They've not come to an annual survey. So that's helped us. Mm -hmm. And, you know, nice new building, good housekeeping, all those make good impressions mm -hmm. on them when they come. And so I, I think we'll do great, but it also depends on which surveyors you get, you know, what they're looking for, and you know. And you're holding things. your breath until they're gone. And yes! It you know, it's amazing to me. The surveyors they have to do this stuff it has nothing to do with any type of nursing home. Sometimes they don't. Sometimes they don't, and sometimes we have like a dietitian really getting into nursing stuff, you know. And, and you have a team leader who is a dietitian, and I'm like, well, okay, you, you know dietary stuff, that's great, you know, but they'll get into nursing stuff, and I'm like, but you're not the nurse. And you know, I need the nurse to tell me about this. Stay in your lane. Uh, yes, know your role. Yes, uh, yes, that's right. Stay in your lane. But they put them as team leaders, so then they just get in all the lanes, you know. Right. And, oh, so, but another thing is, they're coming in and they're staying. Like, and they're coming they're, early in the morning. And they're staying late at night. Right. So when they're there, so they our see team all. is there. Yes. For three days, daylight to dark. <laughs> as long as they're there. Yeah. It's a lot to gather information for them, and they don't like to wait either, you know. So if they ask you for something, they're like, what do you mean now? You know, right. <laughs> so, they ask you first until you one didn't have it before I asked. Well, and I did <laughs> have, look, I've them. got, Donna, you've seen them, yeah. three notebooks on my desk. Yeah. Right now. One, one notebook has 40 something different items. Now this is before they ever did it. This is the things they want, okay? Well then when they start digging into those things, oh, we need this, oh, we need the policy on that, oh, we need that policy. And it's just, and then they're out on the floor making all kinds of observations, making your staff nervous. You know, and nobody, you know what it's like to pass me as and somebody, hey, follow up along behind you. You do it right all the time, but when somebody's there watching you, You'll so they're watching, from that area. they're watching for med They're watching for med errors. Mm -hmm. And it, one facility, I heard that three surveyors was following the med car. Yeah. And that's a little much. And I think I have to just go say, that's a little much. <laughs> but, you know, um, it's intimidating. Sure. Mm -hmm. It's intimidating. Sure. That's what they do for us to intimidate your floor. And then it, it, no staff should have to go there. Right. Mm -hmm. They shouldn't have to go through that. I mean, yeah. We're there for the patients, right? Which right. is what they should be there for. 
and they should make sure if you're making somebody nervous, walk away, let them go get their meds. You know, make it safe. But you're making it it's very human. They're human too. That you realize that. And then some of them do, but some of them don't. Some of them do. Okay, but we're getting prepared for it, and then, then there's a whole other side, you know, the maintenance guy, there's a whole guy who comes to do all that. Um, the other one that you call it, different ones. All of it, no. It's a picture in the same. Yes, but they love that concept. They, they really love. Well, the college college. Yes, and they're going to love that we've got a lot of private rooms, you know. Right. And having private rooms helps that infection control stuff. Sure. Um, yeah. it, it really does, you know, because you don't have to be patient to do you know, you've got the sinks right there. I mean, you all remember when we had, mm -hmm. didn't even have a sink in the room. Right, right. That's a bad infection control environment. Oh, yeah. So, moving this direction has really helped. And, and, but the problem is, a lot of the surveyors are new, so they didn't know what it was before. Right. <laughs> And what it is now, uh, you know, and uh, uh, so. we'll get through it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, uh, big one, it's over. <laughs> <laughs> Darwin, you got anything? No, Darwin, you got anything? Randall? Bobby? All right, I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. Let me write in a minute. So the next meeting is November the 15th, Tuesday. Tuesday. Down there in the library. Are you on the library? Thank you. I'll make a motion, would you? Robbie made a motion. I'll second. second. All four say aye. Aye. Uh -huh. Yep. Oh, your face. All right. Ladies and gentlemen. Are you happy? I think we're delighted there was a big.